So you're a Canadian citizen, and you want to come into the United States um, for pleasure, just a visit. Um, you get to the uh, port of entry, and Customs and Border Protection, CBP, stops you and says, hey, you can't come in. You've got a prior conviction that makes you inadmissible, and you're going to have to apply for a waiver. So how do you go about doing that, applying for this waiver? Well, you apply on Form I-192, uh, which you fill out. You've got to get a bunch of evidence uh, to support the application. There's a filing fee. Um, we draft a legal memorandum uh, to go with it. And you're going to submit this entire packet to CBP at a port of entry or at one of their pre-clearance uh, offices. Um, once they get it, they're going to send it off to the admissibility review office that's located near uh, Washington, D.C., who's then going to adjudicate the, uh, the waiver request. And basically, they're looking at three factors that was laid out by the landmark decision of Matter of Hranka, uh, H-R-A-N-K-A, a Board of Immigration Appeals decision that uh, laid out three factors that the ARO should consider. Um, the first is the risk uh, of harm to society if the waiver is granted. So um, do you pose uh, harm to society in the United States if you're allowed to come into the United States? The second factor is the seriousness of the prior conviction. So was this a violent offense? Was it a drug offense? Was it a pretty minor offense? They're going to look at uh, all of that as well. And the third factor that they want to look at is the nature of your request to come into the United States. So are you coming in for a spring break? Are you coming in to visit a sick family member? Um, they're going to take that into consideration as well. So there's a lot of evidence that you're going to want to submit with your packet. Uh, including criminal uh, conviction documents, uh, any rehabilitation documents. There may be lots and lots of things that you can submit that helps you um, and increases the probability that your waiver request will be granted. Uh, if they grant your waiver request, it's going to be valid for five years. If they deny it, you're going to be able to appeal to the Board of Immigration Appeals.